are these called as fundamental rights? I, I asked this question about five minutes back and I told you please think about it in your background and you will understand and you will appreciate the answer why these are called as fundamental rights once you understand the preamble. So all of us have read the preamble. We the people having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a socialist, into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to our citizens justice, social, economic and political liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity. Right? So, this liberty and equality, to some extent you can add fraternity also because article 17 and all abolishes untouchability says that everyone is equal. But this liberty and equality, are the basic rights in any democratic society. Isn't it? You may not have a right to have own your property. Right? Of course, right to property was also part of fundamental rights, but now moved to a constitutional right. You may not get the right to, you know, have a work. You may not have the right to, uh, you know, uh, do uh, uh, something which is, which is, which is, you know, very niche or very, very sophisticated and all that. But the basic liberty to do what you want to do, the right to life, the right to express yourself, the right to do whatever work you want to do, the basic liberty to follow the religion of your choice. The basic liberty to, to be you know, protected from wrongful action of the state in terms of arrest or in terms of uh, uh, conviction and all those. And the equality, everyone should be treated equal. There should be no discrimination. There should be no discrimination on the basis of race, religion, caste, sex. There should be you know, equality. Equality before law or equal treatment of the laws. Equals should be treated equally. Unequals can be treated unequally if there's someone you know wants some special privilege because they are unequal. They can be treated separately. That is what is called as equal protection of the laws. But unequals cannot be treated equally. So that there should be equality before law or equal protection of the laws. Right? So these are basic rights and the fundamental rights basically reflect these basic rights of liberty and equality that is why they are called as fundamental what is fundamental fundamental is the basics isn't it that's a fundamental question we say that's a fundamental theory what is fundamental that's the foundation isn't it the very very basic right which every individual should enjoy in a democratic country that is liberty and that is equality that is what is enshrined in our preamble and it is these two aspects which are reflected in fundamental rights. Now we will have a further session on directive principles of state policy. This justice, social, economic and political, that is what is reflected through part 4 of the Indian constitution called DPSP, directive principles of state policy. So how it is reflected? That is a separate session. We will have it later. So that is directive principles of state policy. But fundamental rights part 3 of the constitution try and bring out the liberty and equality which is enshrined in the preamble. So do you understand why they are called as fundamental rights? I hope that is clear now to everyone. It is because they are basic rights. What are those basic rights? Liberty and equality which is reflected in the preamble and that is what takes effect in part 3 of the Indian constitution. Right? So now, let's understand what are the, I mean, the basic understanding of fundamental rights, about how it is given in our constitution, what are the various types of rights that are given, fundamental rights which are given in the constitution. Then let's try and understand what do you mean by a state, what is the definition of a state, right? And what are the restrictions on the state? So, as I said, fundamental rights are, now, this is something which you already discussed in detail. Fundamental rights are part 3 of the constitution. They are based on the bills of rights of USA. 
constitution guarantees the rights of individuals against the state as well as against other uh, individuals and also guarantees the rights of minorities against the majority because there is protection of minorities 29 30 they are to protect you know the cultural uh, uh, ethos of any section of the society it is to give some protection to religious and linguistic minorities right so that is uh, what is given in the fundamental rights part they are enshrined in part 3 from article 12 to article 35 of the constitution and the most important it is justiciable justiciable means what it is enforceable it is justiciable allowing persons to move courts for the enforcement directly under article 32 you can go to the supreme court of india or under article 226 you can go to the respective high courts so that is the importance of fundamental rights you can move the highest court of this country which is the supreme court for enforcement of fundamental rights if they are violated so these are some basic points with respect to fundamental rights now let's move on and let's try and understand what are the various types of rights so originally there were seven types of rights but now right to property as i told you has been removed and it has been made a constitutional right so what are the six types of rights that are there now right to equality article 14 to 18 now this is reflecting the equality which is given in the preamble we saw that equality is given in the preamble this right to equality article 14 article 15 16 17 18 right 14 deals with equality before law or equal protection of laws 15 deals with no discrimination 16 deals with no discrimination in public employment 17 deals with abolition of untouchability 18 deals with abolition of titles we will be understanding each and every article in detail as i told you what are the nuances of it nitty gritties of it what are the underlying case laws if any what are the important points relating to each article that you should understand all that will be thoroughly understood one by one article by article in the subsequent sessions but this to begin with we should understand what are the major types of fundamental rights right to equality and this directly reflects the equality which is mentioned in the preamble to our constitution right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom talks about the protection in case of detention protection in case of conviction right to life and liberty yes it also talks about right to education which is you know uh, article 21a which was added in the year 2002 right against exploitation you are protected from uh, uh, you know uh, exploitation from trafficking from human trafficking from forced labor children are prohibited from working in hazardous employment so all this is guaranteed under article 23 and 24 right to freedom of religion right you have the right to your conscience you can practice whichever religion you want to practice you can preach it right so uh, right to practice and propagate the religion right of your choice that is what is given under article 25 to 28 and 29 and 30 deal with cultural and educational rights so 29 says that every section of the society right if they have a unique culture if they have a unique language if they have a unique script then they have every right to protect it right and the state should not discriminate against them and article 30 deals with educational institutions for minorities right so all these rights in a nutshell reflect the liberty right just like article 14 to 18 reflect the equality in the preamble what did you see justice social economic political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship now that liberty is what is guaranteed from article 19 to article 30 and then one of the most important of all fundamental rights dr ambedkar in fact said if i have to pick any con any article as the soul of the constitution i will pick this article which article article 
32, right? Of course, right to property, as I said, it has been repealed now and it has been moved to a constitutional right. Yes, so right to property and it has been made into a constitutional right under Article 300A uh, in the 44th Amendment Act. Now, the sixth type of right that we have is right to constitutional remedies, which is your right to move Supreme Court directly if any fundamental right is violated, right? So these are the six type of fundamental rights that we have. And what do they primarily reflect? The basic rights which any person or citizen in a democratic society should enjoy, which is equality and liberty. Because they reflect those basic rights, they are called as fundamental rights.